Hi, I'm Johnny. Welcome back to my Food Rest series. In this episode, I'm going to show you a spicy buffalo wing recipe. So first job, what we do, is when you get your chicken wings, they're going to look like this. So you've got the winglet and you've got this little bit here. What we're going to do is you take the, you take the winglet off, we save it. We never throw winglets out. It's perfect for stocks, for creating great flavours, brown, white stock, anything. We bag it up and we freeze it. We go straight through that little slit. I'll just show you again. So you get your winglet, you open it out, and it naturally gives you that V there, and you can just see where it goes in. Straight through. Remember, winglet, open out, save. Take them in. Cling film, do whatever you want. So, I've had my oil heating up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take chicken wings, be very careful, don't throw them in. If you throw them in, it's your own fault because it's gonna hurt. That's what we want, we want it to bubble, we want it to hear that noise, okay? Same situation as the fryer, the colder they are, the more moisture something is, it's gonna go crazy, okay? So five or six at a time, stand back, let it chill out, maybe add a couple more. Keep your eye on it, obviously, because we want to just go gold and we don't want to burn. Keep an eye on them because they're going to be quick, depending on how hot the oil is. See? See how quick that is? So I want them crispy. There's nothing worse than limp, fatty chicken wings. It's a crisp, got a bite, it's got all that spice to it. It's like dreamland. So, sauce. This bad boy is the ingredient for me. It obviously works perfectly well with ketchup, but if you can find hot pepper sauce, please get it, please get it. As there's not that much in this, we're going with a full whack. We're going with a full bottle. And then we're gonna go with a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, just a teaspoon, Tabasco sauce. This is entirely up to you. Celery salt, celery salt is a little, absolute gem of an ingredient in this recipe. Adds a different layer, adds a different layer of flavour, a bit of depth to it. Okay, that's my sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. You can roast it, you can fry it first. Doesn't matter. As you can see, a simple, really easy chicken wing recipe isn't that hard to do. So make sure you look at the description box so you don't miss a thing. So we obviously need to try it. That has got a hell of a kick. So grab yourself a tray. That's what, that is what we're looking for. Crispy all the way around. Get the skin crispy, it's bubbling. There's already heaps of flavour in that, just from the natural frying flavour of and how we've got the, the crispy chicken. It adds that kind of different element. When that touches it, it's going to be heaven. So let's just finish these off and get the rest fried off. So now these are done. All beautiful, golden and crispy. I'm going to get this sauce, nothing fancy, pour it, make sure it's all coated, we're going to get the hands in, make sure you're not wasting any of that, look at that, perfect amount, smells delicious, we're going to put these into the oven now, five minutes maybe, five minutes max, 180, banging. So they've had five minutes, the reason why I put them in there, it's just so, you know, the the sauce has that time just to kind of bind with the chicken. Get yourself a big wedge of salad. What are you going to do? Just pick them up and arrange them just nicely. Get them all on top of each other so then the top sauces, it goes all through, everyone's marinated, nothing's ever going to be dried out. Oh, I can't wait to dig in. Get yourself a little bit of coriander, just rip it off. Not being fancy, throw it over the top. Cheap, quick, simple. If you love this recipe and you want to see more recipes from myself, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I hope to see you back next time.